your host, Selah Shalom, and this is the Cosmon Teachings in the words of Jehovah and his angel ambassadors. And the topic of discussion today is going to be called the appointed times of Israel. And these appointed times was given to the Israelites during the time of Moses and the Exodus. Now the appointed time given for the Israelites was the New Year's, Passover, unleavened bread, first fruit, the blowing of trumpets, the day of atonement, and the feast of tabernacle. And these are the appointed times given to the Israelites to keep. So what I'm going to do is apply the moon cycles to the appointed times of Israel, showing the moon cycle is how to keep and observe the feast of Israel, and not based off a man-made calendar with the fixed date. Because when you are following the moon cycles, you cannot go past one cycle. You would have to wait and see if the month is a 29 or 30 day cycle. So by that, you can you could only count the moon cycles one at a time or one month at a time. And I explained that in the documentary called Understanding the Moon Cycles. So now, the first appointed date given to the Israelites was the new year. Where in Exodus 12, verse 1 and 2, it states, And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. So this verse states that Jehovah gave to Moses and the Israelites the appointed time of the new year. Now applying the moon cycles, this would be the first moon cycle first night of the moon which is the crescent moon and this would also be the season or the first season of spring and this is the appointed date given to Moses and to the Israelites to acknowledge the new year it was the first moon cycle of spring first night and day and this is the appointed date for new years now the next day we have is Passover now in Leviticus 23, verse 5, it states, In the fourteenth day of the first month at evening is the Lord's Passover. Now applying the moon cycles, this would be the first moon cycle, fourteenth night of the moon, which is a full moon. And this is the true way of observing Passover based off the moon cycles, and not a man-made calendar as to say April 14th, or Bib 14th with the fixed date. Now, the next date given is unleavened bread. And in Leviticus 23, verse 6, it states, And on the 15th day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. So, in this verse, it mentions that the appointed time for unleavened bread was a seven day period which is from the 15th night of the moon through the 21st night of the moon which is the third week of the first moon cycle you see all these appointed times is based off the moon cycle and nothing else so you have to observe the moon to keep track of the nights and days and if you do not apply the moon cycles as a calendar you will never know the appointed times of any events taking place now the next, um, next we have the Feast of Weeks. And the book of Leviticus chapter 23 verse 15 where it states, And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath from the day that ye brought the shaft of wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. So when this verse it states that from the day after the Shabbat or Sabbath, which would be the 22nd night of the moon, which is the beginning of the fourth week of the first moon cycle. You have the beginning of the Feast of Weeks, which is a 49 night and day period, and there's also seven Sabbaths. Now, the first Sabbath after the 22nd night of the moon is the 28th night of the moon, which is the first Sabbath. And the second Sabbath would be the seventh night of the moon in the second moon cycle. The third Sabbath 
is the 14th night of the moon in the second moon cycle. The fourth Sabbath is the 21st night of the moon in the second moon cycle. The fifth Sabbath is the 28th night of the moon in the second moon cycle. The sixth Sabbath is the seventh night of the moon in the third moon cycle. And the seventh Sabbath is the 14th night of the moon in the third moon cycle which ends the Feast of Weeks. So the Feast of Weeks started the 28th night in the first moon cycle, which is the season of spring, and ended at the evening of the 14th day in the third moon cycle, the season of spring also. And this is the true way of observing Jehovah's appointed times given to the Israelites. The next appointed uh, time given was the blowing of trumpets. Now in Leviticus 23, verse 24, it states, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing trumpets, a holy convocation. So here it states that the blowing of trumpets is in the seventh month, first day. Now, applying the moon cycles, this will be the seventh moon cycle, first night of the moon, which is the crescent moon. And this would be old, this would be in the first season of fall. And it also mentions it will be a Sabbath day. Although this is not a seventh day Sabbath, it is a day of worship and rest with rites and ceremonies. And the Sabbath means a day of, um, a day of rest and worship and also refers as the seventh day. Now the next appointed date given is the Day of Atonement. In Leviticus 23, chapter 27, it states, Also on the tenth day of the seventh month, there shall be a Day of Atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. So in this verse, it states that the Day of Atonement is the tenth day of the seventh moon cycle, or seventh month, when you apply the moon cycles. The next appointed time is the Feast of Tabernacles. And in Leviticus 23, verse 34 and 35, it states, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles. For seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be a holy confiscation, and ye shall do no servile work therein. Now, the fifteenth day of the seventh month. Now, applying the moon cycles, this would be the fifteenth night of the moon, a full moon, in the seventh moon cycle, which is the first season of fall. And verse uh, 35 says, the first day shall be a holy confiscation, and the first day is the 15th night and day, the beginning of the third week in the seventh month, or moon cycle. So it is by this way of observing the moon cycles that you have to apply the Feast of Israel, and not based off a man-made calendar with fixed dates printed out for the year. This will lead you in error. If you are trying to know the creator, you must learn his moon cycles. First, this is the calendar in the sky, created by the creator for us. The moon cycle is the timekeeper, the prophecy of events and things about to take place on earth. So if you are trying to be one with the creator, you must acknowledge his signs, seasons, days, and years based off the moon cycles, and you will know. So with that, once you understand applying the moon cycles to the appointed times of Israel, you will be definitely aligned and in tuned with Jehovah, better than basing it off a man-made calendar, comparing your Sabbath, your Passovers, on um, these man-made calendars, instead of applying the moon cycles. And with that, I'd like to say peace and blessings and catch you on the next documentary. Peace. Peace.